a stand-up comedian born in Montreal from Haitian parents. And so I asked her to help me discover the Haitian culture in Montreal. The first stop we're visiting today is Mili Melo, a market and also a small restaurant. It's an institution here on Jari Street. It has been open for 29 years. So Dorothy, why did you choose to bring me to this place specifically? If you wanted to order a Asian meal, it's the place to come. Also, because I need evaporate milk for my coffee. Asian people put evaporate milk in the coffee. Without that, it's not a real coffee. What do you think I should be ordering? You know, when you hear about uh, uh, chicken creole, we do the best chicken creole. And you need to try lambi, and yeah. that makes people aphrodisiac. It's an aphrodisiac. Yeah, 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 but I don't believe that. It never worked with me. No? No, because I'm... Um, Maybe I should try it. You should try You need that? <laughs> Speaking of aphrodisiacs, Dorothy has another little secret to tell me. With this, you will have a, a natural attraction. Men will come we'll to you. will be attracted to exactly. me if I drink this. If you drink this. Well, I think I'm going to get this. Yeah. Mapu Bois Bandi. This product, how we say that? Make men have a good erection. Good erection. <laughs> exactly, to be okay. strong. <laughs> Okay, I think it's time to eat. Okay, merci. Wow, that's a lot of food. So here you get the secret of a round woman. <laughs> you see? So you bounce more. You bounce more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why Asian women have nice curves. I should put this on the meat. Yes, normally they put it on the meat. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. Mm. This is very good. Mm. So how did you get into comedy? My good friend, she always say that, you know, Dorothy, you should do stand-up. So at 37, I took a class and... And from there, it's just been... Exactly. Comedy is a male-dominated field. Mm -hmm. You're a black woman on, on top of that. I think it shows. <laughs> Has that been challenging here in Montreal to start your career? It was a, a big challenge, first of all, for me, because I had to pass over this cultural education. My grandmother, she used to say to me, I think she put a spell on me, but she said to me that a man will never marry me because I, I laugh too much. No so you way. Say, oh, yeah. So that's why I'm single. <laughs> Next stop is Polytronic, a Haitian music hotspot. You brought me here in Saint-Michel at Polytronic, where you can find all kind of different music. I need music for my car. So what should I listen to? Ooh, you have to go with G beats. This guy. The sounds, it's more actual. Okay. Uh, and the beats, like you say, it's so good. You're gonna have a pleasure to, to dance on that. Are you gonna show me? Of course, no problem. <laughs> Hey, we get, we get closer. You see how we close? And we dance. You feel the music. That's the way we dance. Mm -hmm. But you know, I'm a crazy girl. I like to do fantasy. Mm -hmm. So then, <laughs> he's getting excited. <laughs> and when I make this noise, that means it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you. <laughs> OK, so where do I move? Oui, vas-y. Tu l'as, tu l'as. Et... Oh, my And then goodness! You, you continue. Stay on the plus. Okay. Yes! You got it! Food, music, and hair. Yep, hair is a pretty important part of Haitian culture. It's la mec of fake hair. Okay. It's called le secret d'achaya. This is fake hair. Yes, $9.99, baby. $9.99. I think Dorothy is going to use this occasion for a little upgrade. You're the owner of this hair salon. What is the secret? I would say that it's the hairstylist and the, my makeup artist. At the salon, everybody could look like Beyonce. And that's what makes your salon so unique and, exactly. and renowned in Montreal. So how much is real hair? Real hair, it could cost around $200 and more. How much do you spend per year on your hair? This, it's... A thousand dollars? Hey! I do my hair every month. Oh my! What? Yes. Don't forget, I'm the owner of the salon. It's all about their hair. It's a cultural thing. And if you're not taking care of your hair, that means that your 
And you don't take care of yourself. Exactly. exactly. Dorothy wears her hair natural, but yes. she has this like piece of fake hair there, mm -hmm. so we want to Im improve it. What we could do, we could put some extension. So this would look like the same texture of Dorothy's hair. So now you're ready to reveal your secret. And it's gone. It's gone. We're gonna put like a, an, uh, a ponytail. It's very pretty. Mm -mm. <laughs> it helps when you have a pretty face. <laughs> Gorgeous. Very. I love it. Beautiful. Would you marry me, Dorothy? <laughs> <laughs> well, now we're fed. You taught me how to dance, listen to some music, you have a new hairdo. I think we're ready to hit the town. Let's go now. <laughs>